Hello everyone! So what about that broken Virtual Boy? Can we fix it? It has a problem that affects all Virtual Boys. It affects the visors and makes the screen look like this. These horizontal lines indicate a problem with the flex cables that connects the visors to the motherboard. It affects all Virtual Boys over time and at some point you have to fix it on your system as well. So to see the problem we'll have to disassemble the system. And with the cartridge cover slot removed, we can see the connector pins for the cartridges. This looks very cool and it's very different, I never seen a video game using this type of connection before. And removing the bottom shell reveals the motherboard. It is incredibly tiny if you compare it to the size of the system. And our problem should be around here, uh oh, uh, it seems that the previous owner has attempted to repair it before, especially if we compare it to the other side. Anyway, let's continue to disassemble it. And here is the visor, this is the display of the Virtual Boy, this is what makes the image for each eye. And you can see on the other side that it has soldered, it shouldn't be like this. These flex PCBs were glued on the visor, and with time the glue weakens. That's why fixing it consists of applying solder to the flex PCB to make a strong connection to the visor. And seeing that it already has solder and it's still not working makes me a bit worried. Perhaps one of these traces are not soldered properly, and that's what's causing the issue. So the best thing we can do now is check the connections. Well, all of the connections seems to be good, but if you look here at this part of the cable, there seems to be some damage. So probably I'll have to lift the cable more and solder this upper section. I wish I could capture this on camera, but I don't have a microscope to have a good distance while I work on the cable. And I don't want to risk damaging this console, so I'll have to do this off camera. But I'll leave this footage here that shows exactly what I'm gonna do. Basically what you have to do is lift the plastic part of the cable and then apply solder to strengthen the connections. This is what the previous owner tried to do with no success. And here's the result after I reinforced the solder on the cable. My soldering iron ended up burning a bit of the plastic but the important part that is the traces are intact. Now I have to do the same thing on the other side and I'll be more careful this time. When lifting the plastic, you can start from the sides and be very gentle and careful because if you pull too hard, you're gonna lift the traces as well. Also, don't remove the plastic completely or else you won't have any support for the traces. After soldering, you can cut the excess of the plastic. Finally, I can check the connections on the other side too. This time, I'm checking the connections side by side. When checking side by side, a beep indicates a short.
I got a beep here, but these two pins are the same connections, so you can just ignore this one. And one final step after reinstalling everything is to apply some captain tape to hold the cables in place. Because this is what happens when you move the lens adjustment. This movement can probably break the solder joints. Finally, make sure everything is connected properly and let's test the console. Recording image on a virtual boy is a pain. But I finally got a clear picture and as you can see, it is completely fixed. No horizontal lines on the visors and no glitches at all. And that's it. I was a bit scared at first because I thought that I wouldn't be able to restore it. But even if you damage the flex cables, you can buy better replacement cables online. These have a much better quality than the originals. But since I was able to restore this one, I'll keep it with the originals for a while. Now finally I could play with the Virtual Boy for hours and see if it really gives you headaches. I won't lie, for the first hours playing with it, I felt a bit of discomfort on my eyes. You know that feeling when you wake up and you open the curtains? That eye discomfort caused by the clarity? That's the same feeling you'll get after playing with the Virtual Boy for a while. And then it finally clicked that what causes the discomfort is the eye shade piece. While using the Virtual Boy, the eye shade makes sure that your eyes are only seeing the red light coming from the device. This is good because it gives a cinema feel to the games. All you see is a big red screen whenever you're playing the game. But at the same time, your eyes are only receiving red light during that period. So when you look outside of the Virtual Boy, your eyes are suddenly seeing different colors again. And since you have been looking only at red colors all of this time, it takes a while to adapt back to reality. One way to mitigate this issue is to play without the eye shades on. This way when you're playing, light from the environment around you will get to your eyes and you won't feel much discomfort at all. If you happen to find a broken virtual boy, you know what to look for and if you see this problem with the visors, you know how to fix it. And that's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.